What's the deal, Sandy, baby? Hope you're having a good day. You did or you will. Because we're going to go through this energy. Because I really feel like this energy is not that important. You have a boss or a earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Virgo. What situation in your life is bringing you financial wealth and uh, stability? I feel like you in your boss energy. You're done wrong. You don't feel like there's anything to balance, even if it was fucking unfair. You don't feel like uh, if it was confused, oh, well, with the Gemini. Libra, if it wasn't any justice done or you feel like they treated you bad and you retaliated to them, uh, uh, them retaliating on you or trying to get you back, be petty. You know, if whatever dominant conversations you could have had. You was in your boss energy. This was a boss. You was a boss too. And you had someone that was hot and cold. But I feel like this was a switch. Because this person kept trying to uh, get you out of your comfort zone. Out of your element. And the thing is, everything you say and do will be used against you. Maybe this person heard about you. Or maybe this person, you told this person something about a complaint. And then they tried to use that same tactic. So this person probably seen you angry before or upset about something before. Or they known how you get down or you don't fuck around. But this person didn't know that you knew the difference between getting mad. First of all, this person didn't know you are the core. You know, like the three layers of the fucking earth. You're like a volcano chilling. A little smoke come out every once in a while. You, you, you're mounted in the earth energy. You're good. You don't let a lot of things make you erupt. So this person don't get that you were smart enough and you, int you use your intuition to know when you should speak and when you should shut up. Or this person might not have known that you hold things in and then you blow up because you give people so many chances. Maybe, ooh, I don't know if my neighbors are fighting, but maybe even if you didn't blow up, that was you blowing up. You, that, you not communicating because you know the game. And, you know, you use your intuition and you're on a certain level. Maybe you knew not reacting would be them blowing up. Because that's what they wanted you to do. This is what they've been wanting you to do. They probably felt like because you was older. Or maybe they felt like you had a better life. Or maybe they felt like you was more uh, better at your job or could do better with their job. But whatever the relationship was, it was a switch. It was kind of like, it was not the right time for them to be fucking with you. But they picked the right time because things had built up. And it's not that you probably erupted on this if it wasn't a boss energy. But someone of a father figure, someone that's supposed to be a good protector, provider, business partner. You know, this person... Um, coming up upright but their communication they coming up upright when they probably come to get money and how they spend their money but they're coming in their communication these swords are in reverse that's three and that's their heart and intellect and what they choose to support which could just be money and magic fucking with people are thinking they the boss are thinking they can retaliate are thinking they can control someone's life so the switch was that it wasn't, you went and made a decision because you knew making a decision was better fucking with this person than not making a decision. You know, you didn't go with the flow no more. Because the lies was being exposed. You knew this person was picking. You knew this person was ungrateful. You didn't want to do shit for this person no more. Yeah, you had logic and clarity. That's the fourth sword. Protection was in reverse when it came to the communication because this person probably thought they had more power and you jumped on the horse in reverse and you got the fuck out of there as soon as you could. You wasn't worried about uh, maybe y'all had money saved or uh, you knew how to take care of yourself and move along 
move around without this father figure or this boss supervisor leave should be the household um, leader or you know head of the household because what we got you know Yeah, you took an action that was in balance. So it was kind of like, yeah, you made a decision and it wasn't based on trying to hurt them. It wasn't based on, they probably waited. It wasn't the right time. You probably had a lot of things on your mind. You, you been getting, they was an asshole. You, you was going through these same energies with other people. They thought they were, they was a new dummy, but they wasn't doing anything fucking new. Okay. Eight, unbalanced. Libra. Unbalanced energy, unbalanced. I feel like you're not getting anything done. You have you have clarity that this water side or that you got out of stagnation and that they want a new beginning of love, or that's what you want. And that you've done your healing or they're trying to heal and balance things with this Libra. I feel like, Sandra, you could be thriving off the fact that you know <laughs> that they're not happy. You could be thriving off the fact that you knew this person didn't want you happy. It's not like you wanted that for them. You could be thriving off the fact that you're not sad for this person anymore. You get angry. That's what I do. I tell people to help them get over relationships. It's a good tip. Instead of getting sad, get angry because you're just mixing the feelings up, right? Start thinking about the bullshit because that's why you left and that's got to be your motivation. Just like motivation and confidence have to always be rebuilt depending on what it is and how much confidence you need. We talked about that in the video. So, yes, this person uh, want to heal. And I feel like the person that boss energy, this father figure, they need to heal. And maybe this person feel like they're out of stagnant while they felt like, uh, while they feel like, so gotcha. So if this person is out of being stagnant, then this could be a water sign in their earth energy, feeling like a boss, got some kind of stability and wealth going. They want to move fast and they want a new beginning in love. Yeah, they lives was exposed. Yeah, they have not been communicating. No important message or movement has been made. But y'all both been healing. So, yeah, you're not a pet or you've been giving your pet more love and you need to keep it going or do it more. Yeah, patience comes to those who wait. So this person's trying to be patient. Yeah, it wasn't the right time to communicate when the lies was being exposed. Uh, it wasn't a good time for you to be communicating with this father of boss energy, head of the household kind of energy when you knew they was lying and they, you knew they treated you like you was a pet. It wasn't shit to be done. You had clarity. Yeah, you used your intuition. You was... You was... um. Not ignoring the red flags because you did want them to bite you in your ass. I redid this already. Yeah, someone was trying to come in the middle of you trying to make a move. And that's why you said, I better make a decision and make no fucking decision whether it was right or wrong. And guess what? Yeah, no message has come through from this person or either one of these people. This could be a father figure, whatever, in your ex or your twin flame, right? Nothing has come through. As far as them doing anything, because they had someone else coming in the middle of this, but they was moving fast. Using their intuition. They had clarity as well. Yeah, what did I say? They want to get out of stagnancy, and y'all both was being cautious. So this person being cautious around probably people, and you being cautious at your job. With those people, or people, let it resonate. Yeah, you want to... Uh, <laughs> This person wanted a new beginning in love, but they, uh, 
haven't given you any intimacy, which means they haven't really gotten to know you. And what, from what they probably see of you is from social media. Or they didn't, or they ignore what you did give them. And now they want to see how it will feel if they appreciated it. Because if we're dealing with a narcissist, they have no feelings towards it and they're not, they can't. So you can't knock them for that. We know what a narcissist do. We said that on my last video. You know what a dog do. You know what a monkey do. You know what a rat roach do. You know what these things do. And this is what a narcissist do. This is what an impact do. And there's vibrations and levels to this shit, right? Because there ain't shit growing. They need to heal. Or when they was trying to get a new beginning in love, the intimacy wasn't there. They wasn't trying to get to... Okay, maybe they were trying to get to know these people because they fucked up and didn't do that with you. And whatever they was getting to know... Ooh-wee, doggy. There was nothing to talk about. Intuition was kicking in. They had clarity. The motherfuckers started being more cautious trying to get out of there. Trying to get out of there. $20 energy read, homie. I could pull all these cards for you. $20. Cash at me. PayPal. Description box and community board will get you that information. If you send me a message, when you cash at me with your number or information, it'll go faster for you, boo. Yes, let's get out the energy. We have root chakra out here. Get those feet moving. Like hot tamale. That's what they look like. Some hot chili. A gumbo. Of beans and, you know, of things. Red flower of life. Stimulates passion, support. Our senses of security on this physical plane, both in our body as well in the physical world. So to know what's going on and to know what you need to do and what you need to stay away from. Tantric journey. The tantric journey helps us to unlock the hidden known and wisdom that we hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our central experience with others and with with ourselves and others which means our wholeness and completion through our experiences the knowledge and wisdom that we hold okay so like we can share those things with people and have a decent conversation whether it even be manners some people don't have manners if they really didn't have to say hello or how you doing, they wouldn't. They're just sitting next to you, come in the room or whatever. And these are the same people that will probably need you later or uh, don't understand why there's attention in the work environment or in the neighborhood or something. But yes. And we have on this bitch heart chakra protection with that for green the green flower of life supports the cap our capability to love deeply and unconditional it heals properties harmonizing the mind and the body what we say it have harmony in the mind and the body so if this person don't have it in their heart they can't have it in their mind and body to have common sense when it's when dealing with you. That's why they said in these readings you might be getting, this person said they can't promise you anything. They can't promise you anything. Why do you love me? If 
you're dealing with the narcissist. So you know when people are on your mind, and you know when, when your intuition go up, or you've been learning things when you come to, you know, terror and things, you know when a person's thinking about you now. Now you know the difference. So now you know why you have maybe this boss energy, this father figure, someone on your mind. They thought they was going to make a decision for you. With this communication, they thought that they had you. Or they thought they was going to be able to stick it to you at some point. Monday, 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 and they out there jamming that music like it's the weekend or after nine or eight or some shit. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, what we got? Healing again, balance, justice, things being being set fair. Yeah, things being set fair when it comes to this baby mama, baby daddy energy. When, whatever they try to say about you, you're healing. They need healing. This person needs to get up and clean their motherfucking energy. Clean their house. Wash their clothes. Clean out their car. This bitch probably have a lot of things that they could be doing. What did I say? They have a lot of things that they could be doing. So Sagittarius, you're probably healing from relationships of a shitty mother aunts and uncles in them that was in this feminine ass energy they thought that they just should look pretty or they was with their husbands and their boyfriends and baby daddies because they was financially mentally weak so this father figure that's healing is dealing with someone that needs to heal and they probably drink party, not a good mother figure or whatever. They don't keep a clean house. They probably don't care if they brush thing. They probably don't care what time they have to be to work. They probably don't care about keeping work. They probably only care about themselves, selfish. They This person have clarity. This person knows that this man or woman is with them because they look good and they or they have good sex or they have abandonment issues. This person knows that um, this uh, person that they with just want to... Uh, have a man or a woman to have validation. This person knows that the sex and the energy that they putting into trying to celebrate and be around the people that this person like, this person feel like they lucky to even be touching them. And they, they're putting their energy in its own zero and they healing it from it. They probably allowed this person to cheat on them because they was cheating on them. This, this was, they need to heal. With the people in places and things with this cup, they getting no support either from these people. Yeah, you went to Karma Waters. That's 10. You feeling complete, friend. You probably been getting out in those streets or going to work and selling back and chilling. You've been getting your rest, rejuvenating. Yeah, they can't see the bright side of things. This mother... Uh, this could be your mother. Let this re resonate. You can have a sister, ain't a cousin. But we're going to keep going because I feel it like it is this father, mother figure, father figure, baby mama figure, whatever. They can't, they're moving their ego. They they can't deal with their inner child. They probably don't even know how to do that. Well, we got someone that doesn't make money. They're not dependable. They earth is in reverse. Huh? Ooh, so ooh. To me, this is the opposite of you, which is air energy. You don't have any resolve fucking problems. This is beautiful. You're in thirteen, which is Friday the thirteenth. So Satan, uh, evilness and wickedness. That's what you went away from. With your inner child not seeing the bright side of being around your own mother or father or grandma figure, whoever this one. Man, you got the fuck out of there. This third party of your person. 
to me they can't see the bright side of being with this person and they want to go but they don't have the money honey so whatever they're but I feel like your person's healing from this person the third party in reverse they don't feel like they have any any, any unresolved problems they see you motivated in your life which is probably motivating them because come on they ready to go Empress, they stepping back into their energy. Yo, you healing like, bitch, what goes around, come around. Cause these cards fell out too. Yeah, there ain't no motherfucking conflict. Bitch, you can't compete with me. You can't compete with the collective, have several seats. You probably, with this Empress in the reverse, maybe you ain't been very fucking nurturing and celebrating with bitches. You're not very friendly. Like this man asked me the other day, where the weed at? And I didn't think he was talking to me. And he said it again. And I, I seen him in my provisional vision. He moved and I said, you talking to me? He said, yeah. But when I, I said, you talking to me? I didn't even look back, you know? And he tapped me, I said, before he even looked at him. Who you talking to? Yeah, third party. They trying to avoid a tragedy. They trying to avoid trying to uh, get a foundation. See, your person is healing. So this foundation is going to have to fall. It's going to have to fall. The foundation has to fall between you and this person, but not your whole house and your whole car and your whole job and your whole this and your whole that. You didn't have to fall like that. Everybody fell kind of in this situation, but they fell financially. They fell in the uh, spiritual world. They fell into bad karma because they needed healing. Yeah, and you over there with your backbone, six, um, seven, getting lucky. So you got somebody probably jealous of you. That's a Leo. You got an a air sign that don't, you don't, you got an air sign that needs healing. Could be a Libra. You got Aquarius that's trying to sell to karma waters. They probably need to try to shift their asses up because you probably have your guard up to them. And then that could be a mother figure, your own mother. And you don't have no unresolved problems with these people. Because fuck, what comes around, go around. You know they in karma. You don't have no unresolved problems with this baby mother or your own mother or whoever this father, mother, uh, that baby daddy figure is. You know they fucked up. They moving their ego. You rolled out of there. You rolled right until you were empress. Because this person too broke. And they so busy partying and trying to have the best sex and trying to buy food or trying to act like something they're not. But that's going to come. The conflict is just not up right now. So they could be chilling like villains right now with no love and passion, loyalty or anything in that in reverse. They're not even angry about it. They're not even angry. Maybe somebody watch TV. My neighbors moved out that moved out in that apartment next to me is echoing but anyway it's empty but yeah what goes around come around and they don't have a choice but to go sit their ass down you don't have a motherfucking choice so maybe this person moving in their ego there's no more conflict because maybe they went moving around Or they probably see they going to stay in their ego or they not going to see the bright side of things trying to fuck with you. That's why the conflict is over. You never gave this person the time or day. <sighs> oh, scam like we. Yes, there's a breakup. Of course, there's a breakup, remember? 
because someone wants to heal. Okay, this pop out. The conflict is old because this Leo, which is your energy, fire, if it's not a Leo, dealing with the earth, Libra sign in reverse. They see they can't come between or have any conflict with you. It can even be a fair of another fire sign. They might as well have several seats. That's why they going through a breakup. <laughs> so I feel like they can't see the bright side of things. Cause you don't want to fight with them. With this baby mama, with this karmic they went to, this man, this guy, this woman, this side piece, you don't care. Uh, they trying to prevent a breakup. Somebody from moving or changing partners to keep this tower. So I feel like your person don't want these third parties no more. And they trying to hold on and keep them there. Because your person don't have nowhere to go. Even though they're healing. And they making the right decisions. But they still in karma. So you have a front row seat to every stage of their karma, the steps that they're going through. If you've been keeping up with us, this is the stage. Yeah, no, ain't no need to talk. But this person want to. They karma is that they're going through a breakup and that they're going to be forced to heal. They gonna be forced to get out that motherfucking ego. This person, yeah, your guard name say, hold up, this is not a narcissist. Hold up, the devil said, wait a minute, you can't fuck with this one. This is not a narcissist. This is a star seed. This is a chosen one. This one is protected. This one is protected. They don't have any unresolved problems with people. Slow your ego. They put this lion on his back or whatever courage that they thought they had. That shit is done. Let's see what this page. This person that want to leave but they don't have no money or they just got a little money, honey. And they talked all that shit like they had it together and they don't. Yeah, no, it's not the right fucking time for them to move. They stuck like Chuck. They probably, if they party in reverse, they probably still have to get drunk and act like they like these people. You know, my uncle used to say he don't drink and then some people don't accept that shit. So when they not looking, he tell me going to the bathroom and he pour the liquor in the toilet. I told him I should have did that when this girl asked me did I want some goddamn Parmesan. She poured a, in a juice glass, like a big glass. Like you put juice in, it was glass. With a bunch of Coca-Cola and I was like, man, this shit gonna give me a hangover because she mixed too much. It was like juice, it was disgusting. Coca-Cola, it wasn't like, I don't know. And I sure got sick in my uncle said, so you should have went pour that in the tra in the in the toilet. <laughs> Slowly keep pouring that in the toilet. So I started shit. You even I seen a video where this guy, everybody took a shot and he threw it to the back. He didn't want it. He, this person probably still going around people having to front like they some they not, but it's all good. Let's see what the love angels gonna say. Cause remember, you in on a transit journey. You following your heart chakra and your roots. And I feel like this is what's gonna come to you because you don't have any damage. Like when this person talk to you, you're not gonna be talking about what you went through and what bills you need to pay and what you're not gonna be buying food that they know that you couldn't buy for yourself or asking them to do shit you can't do for yourself. And that's why they gonna wanna do it for you. Not like I said in another video, you saying I can do that myself. No, it's the thought that counts, and that's the thought is what you're trying to develop. Those thoughts 
You want to be, you know, you can get a man to do more for you if you give him recognition and appreciate the little things he do too, like taking out the trash. All the shit you can't get a man to do. You recognize probably for some women, and this has been on my intuition because I've seen a couple of videos and it tapped in. Uh, you probably want a guy that's going to give you things, give do things for you, okay? That's equal. But when you have a guy that's bringing you food and he call you and be like, what you want to eat? And you be like, I want to eat this. And you know he been doing this shit for a while. Or you uh, expect them to always get your hair and nails done. You expect them to take you out. You expect them to bring you a soda from this gas station. You expect them to just come over or you to be able to just go over. You expect them like a child. You don't see what they have to go through. But this is my point because it's not the point that you can't get that. It's just the, uh, that you haven't had it for some of y'all. It's just the point that do you really think because I see why men probably can't stand their wives or cannot stand girlfriends. Because I seen her injury reader acting like this and it was so shallow. But I get, I've heard women do this and I, I just want to call it out. Do you really think a man, if he volunteered to get your hair and nails done, that he have to do it all the fucking time to tell what you die, bitch? He got to call you and ask you what you want to eat till you die? He got to ask you, do you want something from the stove? From so till you die, he gotta be uh, keep opening the door and closing the shit. Till you die, he have to keep giving you shivery. Till you die, that's a lot of energy. You want to do it because he want to do it. He, you a bonus. He's a bonus. I wouldn't like your fucking ass either if you were like. Uh, um, I already told him what I want to eat because he don't want to do it. If you got to tell him twice and he been doing it, he, you got him. You think it's his job and he trying to break your ass from thinking that it's his job to get little shit like from the store and stuff from you for you. But till you die, like on a regular. Or it's going to be a problem. On the regular, you want to get the oil in the gas chain, take the trash out all the time, for, till you die? I just seen some people have unexpected, some women have unexpected expectations. I'm like, man, I wouldn't even like this person. She like, yeah, I told them what I want to eat. Y'all been together. You should be past that point. You should, man... Every woman don't have to be like me, but I, I cook and I have leftovers in this bitch. If he want to bring me something, he'll say, hey, you want me to bring you something, get dressed, we go and get something, I'm a bonus. And that's what you want a man to feel. And these are the women that men are intimidated by, but do not get that they make your life more hard, easier. All you got to do is be a bonus. But anyway, let's go. So no communication is going coming in. You having a backbone, you know. Uh, I have some guys always telling me where they going. I'm like, you have to call me and be like, yeah, I'm over here at the, I'm going to stop by the gas station. They used to, girls, they used to reporting back. I'm like, you're grown. And the only way we going to build trust is if you give me a motherfucking reason not to. I'm like, I don't like it when a guy call me all day telling me where he at and what he doing. That may, It's not that he even make me think anything. It just let me know he haven't been in a relationship where he can be free. Because I'm not going to be doing that shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm on my way home for work, baby, and I need to do this. Uh, uh, I'm going to hang with my friends. Man, hey, I'm here with my friends when you call. Oh, you're going to know if we live together that I might do that. But I'm just saying, I'll be seeing these little things, y'all. I'll just be seeing. Because I know we talk a lot of shit about the men on here. I've been told that, so <laughs> I try to balance it, and it's not just that with uh, men. I don't date women, but I was raised with women that disguised what kind of women they were, and it wasn't for me to know what kind of women they were, because I mind my fucking business, so whatever I had to learn from their boyfriends and their husbands, my sisters and my dads, my sisters and my mom, even dad, how they are.
when I'm not around or that other person, them outside of being a sister or a niece, nephew or mother, uh, uh, you know, like a daughter, sister energy, cousin, how they are, with, how they are. People change with different people. You're different when you're in relationship from a friendship to a co-worker. It's a limit on everything. Some get more, some don't. It's just how it goes. Yeah, nothing's growing. That's why you don't have, what do we say? You thriving off of that lie. You thriving off of that two-faced ass bitch. You thriving off that boss that want to have a tone like you wasn't grown. You thriving off a motherfucker that thought that your position was easy and then they couldn't do it or get no one to replace you to do it. Or thought that anyone would do it. I forgot that it was not an easy position. That's why you took it in that. Why, that's why they gave it to you. You know, it was some kind of thing where you agreed to probably be a friend with benefit. But you didn't agree to be a third party or an entanglement. So you probably just wanted to hit that shit a couple of times. Or you knew this person was out there. Uh, using people and trying to sell their bodies and you knew they was wilding, you know, but then this person tried to be like, out of all the hoes they fucked with and then when you stepped in the door and you just want to get in and get out, like stop and go they want to they want to handcuff you they, they want to dog everybody but and then make you have some kind of uh, sit till I come back, be a good girl, be a good boy until I come back. Like mommy's going on a crack bench and I want you to wait with no food, no nothing in the house. You know, you had nothing beneficial to doing this with this person, but they want to make you, uh, oh, you was mean, you was crazy. It's like, okay, everybody, you, you mean crazy. The people you didn't with mean crazy, but, uh, why do you have to, but this person is like, they want to, like you was the mom or dad that they wanted, that they thought you was the cure in their lives. Like that they, they, they want to keep you like a little butterfly in a jar. And then when you died, what? Put you up on a, in a plastic frame and show you off like yeah I knew Sagittarius yeah I used to sleep with Sagittarius yeah I knew them they was really nice they want to give you your flowers when it was gone late and gone cause they can't do it now that you they didn't want to do it when you was alive but we know what a narcissist do so what did you feel passionate about I mean we know why you feeling passionate and with a little anger thriving in it Thriving in that shit. Yeah, you thriving in that earth energy in reverse. <laughs> You're not a motherfucking narcissist. You're not supposed to go back and forth with this mother father figure. This boss energy. I feel like it's just a repeat. Garden angels blew the horn on it, blew the whistle. Blew the whistle on their fucking ego. Foundation is broken and you went on, you know, it's like either I'm gonna make a choice or I'm gonna be stuck with this bitch. Now let's see who this Empress is. No, it's not the right time for them. They broke as fuck. They stuck with who they with who they picked. Yeah, they feeling good because they hidden. Mm-hmm. Must be nice. Maybe they at the point where they see or they're on the level of you where you see that a relationship is not for you to be losing and missing out on what's best for you. It's just a part of life. It should not be your whole fucking life. And now they get that fucking with you or trying to control you in this karmic or thought it that, thought it that, thought that they wanted their cake and eat it too. Or they want to use you for a backup. Or leave you, leave you for the backup and then try to make you the backup. Like, this person don't know what they want. And they want too much. They thought a good person was free. I don't give a fuck if you a man or a woman. Ain't shit free. But an ass beating. If you get away with it. That's what this person could get. Now they get it. Now they healing. 
That's good. Let's go to the spiritual angels. So now that y'all both feeling complete, oh, they're getting there. Yin and yang. Slowly for surely. Uh-uh. Work the way. Confirmation. Divine time is working on your love life. They're getting this soldier together. They getting the soldier together. And ain't just one, it's you too. A relationship is about healing, I guess. And I, I know that, but I guess it's, re it's about healing whether you're with them or not. <laughs> okay. Which makes a lot of sense. So, uh, separation in reverse. This person is healing mentally. Everything's born twice. I hope to see your heart to know that they're healing mentally and then physically with that page of pentacles in reverse with they broke asses. They will learn and appreciate maybe that everybody that's good been broke just like negative people. It's Everybody gets jealous. I told this guy at the corner store. Everybody flirt, but it's when it becomes repetitive and when it controls your life or when you miss out on things because you're stuck doing the stupid shit. Give your relationship a chance. Came in reverse. So this person is waiting, remember? Trying to put, uh, trying to deal with third parties in reverse. Trying to not to have, trying to avoid loss. Keep an open mind. So for now, go play. See, I got my shiny pants on today. And it's Monday, Monday. Or uh, whenever this energy read hits you, I hope it helps you, boo. Let me know what's up. Description box, community boy. $20 energy read. Express your love. When this person come in. So maybe you showed them Sagittarius or you didn't, but you didn't uh, tell them. Or maybe you told them too much. So maybe you need to, some of y'all need to show love by being quiet. And uh, yeah. And some need to show love by talking. Go ahead and make a gesture. So if this person might want to express themselves. Because they don't. And they want to play with you. Because they don't want to give their relationship a chance. They don't want to separate with you. Or. Whoever they're in the relationship that. They don't want to give their relationship a chance with. They feel like you're worth the wait. They're keeping an open mind and they don't want to separate. Where this other. That's what the karmic's feeling. They feel like your person worth the wait. They're trying to keep an open mind and they don't want to separate. They try not to separate. Trying to avoid tragedy. Where your person don't want to give this relationship a chance. They want to be playful and they want to express their love and they don't want to separate. Well, you're paying attention to the red flags. And then I'm going to get out your face because my energy read time is ticking. And I hope you do have a good day and let me know if you don't because that's what I'm here for, boo. I got you. I got you, Craig. I got you, kid. Yes, honey. Honey, let go of control issues. Yeah. They want to keep up open mind. They want to come be playful. They probably look at you as having fun like a big ass kid. Are you living good? And they they letting go of control. Oh, you need to let go of control issues. I feel like that's what y'all both need to do. Okay. Codependence. Y'all both need to stop drinking and doing drugs. Uh, pay attention to the red flags when this person comes to you. See if they let go of control issues. <laughs> this is not a good thing if they're watching. And codependency. See if their drug habits have not continued to take over their lives. And I hope that helped you. And if you want to share this video.